The ancient civilization of Egypt is one of the extraordinary mysteries in the history of humanity. It shared its knowledge with the world and showed evidence of advanced technology and developed infrastructure. To date, the achievements of the ancient Egyptian people still amaze modern scientists and archaeologists. The mystery of how the Egyptians had managed to create the most extraordinary things when mankind was regarded as savage and had zero technology is yet to be unraveled. Join us as we talk about why scientists believe the Egyptian pharaohs were aliens. The Great Pyramids One of the mysteries of the ancient world is the pyramids. Even to present-day scientists, its creation is a marvel and still cannot be explained by modern science. Rumors were rife the construction of the Egyptian pyramids was done with assistance from aliens. The theory suggests that aliens had visited the Nile Valley in the distant past and might have passed on their tremendous knowledge to the dwellers of that land. Scientists believe that the construction of the pyramids started in the third millennium BC and continued for two decades. According to numerous estimates, the number of people involved in building the pyramids was within 20 to 100,000. They had made use of a stone quarry near the construction site, which facilitated the quick delivery of the necessary materials to the construction site. This immensely helped the construction of the tombs. How did the Egyptians manage to make such precise calculations and build so many smooth, perfectly shaped structures? And not to mention, it only took two decades to build one tomb. Furthermore, the construction required stone blocks numbering in millions, with each of them weighing around a ton. How were they able to get them up? A researcher known as Richard Koslow theorized that with the size of the blocks, it would have required 10 people to fit around it and lift it, in which each builder would have to bear a weight of 400 kilograms. An ordinary person can't lift such a weight. So how did they do it? Were they extraordinary? Another issue is how the dwellers of the Nile Delta could have carved and honed stones without any gaps between them. The blocks were refined with such precision. It seemed they were carved with special machines, which certainly could not have existed during the era of the ancient Egyptians. During the building of the pyramids, the Egyptians used Oswan pink and black granite, in addition to limestone and clay. The deposits of these types of granite were found in a location about 700 to 1200 kilometers from the construction site of the huge necropolis. It should also be mentioned that the Great Pyramids are astronomically oriented to the north-south with an accuracy of three arc minutes, which is extremely close to being perfect. Several of the object details have an uncanny correlation with some stellar systems. The Easter Islands. This island is the most remote inhabited piece of land in the world, with a total area of only 165.6 square kilometers. It belongs to Chile. The mystery about Easter Island is the stone statues. The statues are set along the entire coastline, and they are called Moai by the natives. Nobody can explain who or what they were, how they were made, and most importantly, how the stone statues, which weighed several tons, were brought to the shore. 70 kilometers from La Paz in the Andes Mountains is the location of the mysterious ruin of Pumapunku, scattered across the desert plateau at an altitude of 3,600 meters above sea level. These megalithic age blocks are among the largest on Earth. They are about eight meters in length each weighing over 100 tons each. Archaeologists are still unable to determine what Pumapunku was like, what it looked like, and what purpose the colossal structure could have served. Pumapunku is extraordinary in terms of construction and shape. In fact, it is the most mysterious structure on the planet. Going back to Egypt, scientists have lately dropped a shocking reveal. The ancient Egyptians were not just friends with the aliens, but they were direct descendants of extraterrestrial races. American scientists have carried out research on dried pieces of the brain tissue of some ancient pharaohs. The brain tissues were submitted for genetic analysis. It turned out that almost 90% of tissue samples, eight out of nine, had a strange genome structure. It looked nothing like human DNA. That is, it had genes that were unusual for the structure of human bodies. This made scientists conclude that ancient Egyptian pharaohs were alien hybrids. If there were descendants of the pharaohs among the modern denizens of Egypt, then there is a real possibility that people of alien origin live on Earth, even now. 
This theory sparked an argument in the scientific community. However, if these hypotheses are confirmed, some scientists think this is a step to prove that aliens created humans. Or are there direct descendants who roamed the Earth millions of years ago? UFOlogists instantly supported this claim and began to hunt for facts that prove the connection between mankind and aliens. On the other hand, skeptics disparaged the theory and tagged it as a childish invention that only school children would believe. Nonetheless, this theory has some documented evidence. Ancient papyri assert that the Egyptian king Akhenaten, who began a cultural revolution in the state, used to communicate with beings that had descended from the sky. He also used to refer to himself as their descendant. Some cave paintings discovered in Egypt are also stunning, as they depict humanoids in images of light bulbs, helicopters, airplanes, unidentified flying objects, and other technical devices. There are also images of other technologies that the Egyptians could have learned about either from aliens or from people who came from the future. Huge hieroglyphs, which are not of Egyptian culture, were also discovered there. The authors of the cave paintings could have been some mysterious beings, like aliens, for example. The Thule Papyrus is another strange document that mentions aliens in ancient times. The papyrus allegedly mentions UFO sightings during the reign of Tomos III. The writer of the document had claimed that a disk of fire had descended from heaven to earth. Then lots of identical disks, which had shone brighter than the sun, appeared. A few days later, the object mysteriously disappeared from sight. The Dogons are one of the most numerous tribes of West Africa, living in the valleys of the Niger River in the territory of modern Mali. They don't seem to differ much from the neighboring tribes regarding their development. However, a closer survey of their myths and legends discloses incredible facts and is extremely difficult to explain. They testify to their extraordinary knowledge in the field of astronomy. The Dogons were aware of the solar system structure, and they knew about Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and its rings. Furthermore, they divided celestial bodies into planets, stars, satellites, and all that. Where did an African tribe still in a semi-primitive stage get information of which only a greater part of it became known in the 20th century? For example, Every 50 years, they lavishly celebrate a holiday known as Sagai, named after the beautiful star of Sagai, which the modern world calls Sirius. The Dogen people explain that every 50 years, the star of Sagai makes a complete revolution around another invisible star. According to the chief of the tribe, this star is smaller than Sirius, but it is so dense that if all humans were brought together, they would be unable to lift even a tiny piece of it. In addition, based on their assumptions, there was also a third star. These explanations have confounded ethnologists. If there were stars that were invisible, how did they know about their existence? In response, they were shown rock paintings of the elliptical orbit of Sagai, in the lowest part of which there was a very invisible star that made Sirius revolve around itself in the indicated orbit. Some scientists attempted to explain the Dogan riddle while attempting to leave out the theory of aliens. But these attempts seem to only strengthen the paleon contact hypothesis. Back to the pyramids. There are many myths, legends, mythologies, and mysteries surrounding the Egyptian pyramids. Even with the passing of time and the development of science, there are still more questions than answers. Could the secret be hidden in the fact that there is truly some extraterrestrial intelligence from their alien ancestors? Or is it just a hoax? Well, nothing is really impossible. Even more so, some people would actually say that it actually explains a lot. What do you think? Were the ancient Egyptian pharaohs really alien life forms? Were the Egyptian pyramids built with the influence of extraterrestrial technology? Were Akhenaten and other Egyptian kings really the descendants of these extraterrestrial beings? Do you believe aliens are real? Or are they the most plausible explanation for things that scientists find challenging to explain? Do you believe that there are vestiges of alien visitation here on Earth? Or are they just the imagination of people who want to believe there are other life forms out there? Feel free to tell us your opinions in the comments section.